Okay, so in one of my hunting videos recently, I told you guys that I took a shot off a fence for another hunter who wasn't quite comfortable with taking that shot. So what I wanna to do today is show you guys how I used the fence to my advantage to make a shot possible. Now, the reason we had to shoot it off the fence was because there was very high growth and the only opportunity to get off the, to get enough off the ground was to use the elevation that we found in the fence. Now, I made the mistake of saying that I shot it off the fence and I did this little bag a pint size game changer but there's a technique I used to take this little bag and turn it into something rock solid now I also didn't shoot this buck in the head uh, as I did my personal bucks shot into the engine calmer or into the engine chamber as we'd say in, in, in English or Afrikaans and he dropped straight in his tracks I mean that's seven more hits it's really hard at 280 meters so today we have the 308 Hawa that I just sold by the way. Um, so last few rounds through this and then we'll get it shipped out to its new owner. Um, I actually am making quite a bit of space in the safe. Anyway, let's go to the fence and I'll show you guys what I did. By the way, the angle is going to be a little bit different because I left my big, my big tripod at home. So you guys are actually wrapped up in a fence, which is ironic with the gorilla pod. So we're going to be engaging a target at about 350 meters from where we're at now. So real quick, a few details on the rifle, MDT ESS chassis, carbon fiber 4 in folding stock, Vortex AMG MDT Skypod, and then we've got one of our muzzle brakes on the front of this bad boy to tame the 308. Thanks to MDT for sponsoring today's video. Head on over to mdttech.com to shop for your ESS chassis system. They will be back in South Africa shortly. More news on that later. Let's go. Right, so I've placed you guys on the fence. Um, certainly the most dodgiest camera position we have ever utilized on the channel, with the exception maybe of the one time I put you in the tree. So we have our mag loaded with one round. We've got our target at 350. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is instead that fence, by the way, was a little bit more steady than this one, definitely. And it wasn't barbed wire. So what I did was I put my mini game changer or pint size game changer on the fence as close to the pole as I could. So I'm going to do that like so. And then I'm going to put the chassis system right up against... Obviously, let me put my mag in because that's what it would be like in real life. Bolt is open. I'm going to lay my chassis system right against that pole because what I'm going to do now is use these bottom three fingers wrap around that pine size game changer and what I quite like to do is I ride my thumb in one of these little M-lock slots over here and that gives me the ability to really pinch down on my rifle and I use sort of my index finger as a pointing system and I'm going to squeeze all of that together make sure my rifle is on that pole super wonky fence as you can see 350 Let's dance. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can show you a different angle. Let me just pull this mag. So I've come over to the skills tree just to sort of show you guys this a little bit better. Um, it was really difficult to film on the fans. That should do it. Um, put some fresh ammo in. So this is basically the technique I'm using. Bag's going to be down there. These bottom three fingers are going to go there and sort of squeeze that up like this. And this finger I'm going to put there. This is different for every rifle, but the sort of thing remains the same. So three fingers up, this finger sort of floats here and it's like my pointing it at something and finding the target really quickly. And I'm going to hook this little finger into that sort of spot there. This works really well on the ESS. There we go, that's better. 
Right, so I think that pretty much sums it up. Um, got a couple of more rounds to put down range. So what I really like about that sort of finger squeezing technique on the bag, by the way, lots of people asked in the hunting video, what bag am I using? Armageddon gear, pint size game changer. I really like that bag. If I was to take one bag only, that would be the bag of choice for me. Um, it's available in different folds and different weights. I have the standard full if that helps. I'm going to leave it a link down below. I'm going to do a little bit more shooting. I hope you guys like that sort of technique with the finger pinch. That really works well for me. Probably some other people do it a little bit differently. This crow. Um, yeah, so that is it for today. I appreciate you guys watching as always. If you're new to the channel, Make sure you're subscribed down here. Check out some of our other videos up here and I'll see you guys in the next one. Once again, I want to thank our friends over at Modular Driven Technologies for sponsoring today's video. You guys absolutely rock. And thanks to everyone supporting the channel on Patreon. I couldn't do this without you. Cheers.